Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. My name's Rob and today we're going to take a look at how I created this. It's a sheet metal toy cyber truck. Well, it's kind of hard to call this thing a toy cuz I wouldn't want anyone any kid to play around with it, especially as sharp as it is. Need to break some of those edges, but needless to say, it's a little model cyber truck that I made out of a single piece of sheet metal and in this video I will document how exactly I accomplished that. The original Cybertruck model and the sheet metal version were both posted to my Instagram and Twitter. So if you want to see the models the day they come out, consider following me on Instagram and Twitter at SolidWorksNerd and you'll see all the latest models that I do. I'm doing a challenge called hashtag CAD model of the day and as the name implies, I'm posting a model every single day. So follow me on Instagram and Twitter. So the basic overview of how I made this was first in SOLIDWORKS I took the original model and converted it into a sheet metal model where I could place the bend lines and cut out a template. So let's check that out first. In order to get the flat pattern, I started with the Cybertruck that I posted to my Instagram or more specifically, it was a parasol that I exported from the original model just to keep the original model safe. I won't go over in this video how to model the Cybertruck itself. If that's something you're interested in, please leave me a comment so I'll know that there's interest in it. But I started off with this model. From there, I started by deleting the extraneous bodies that I knew that I wouldn't need because they're too detailed. And then after that, I scaled down the car from being, well, car sized down to something more manageable. And I knew I probably would have to scale it again to, basically my goal was to get the largest cyber car I could from an eight and a half by 11 sheet of paper, largest size I could easily print at home. That was my design goal for this. I then used a delete face command to get rid of even more features like the wheel wells, cause I didn't need them. And then even more delete face commands in order to exclude faces that I didn't plan on having in sheet metal pretty much. So mainly the bottom faces. My goal was to get an infinitely thin surface to represent the sheet metal, and then I would assign a thickness later. After I decided where the bends were going to be, and I had the topology correct, I exported it again just so I could use the convert to sheet metal command. This time, with the geometry cleaned up and the relief cuts made, it worked out a lot better. Though there were a couple of faces that ended up being not planar, which is not allowed in sheet metal. The way I took care of those was I just did an edge flange, and used the existing geometry as the direction and then edited the sketch so that the flange matched pretty closely. I then sketched out tabs to represent the wheels of the Cybertruck and just added them in. I then checked the flat pattern and discovered that it was intersecting with itself when flattened, which you can't have. So I just had to make a couple of extra cut extrudes to clean up those edges and make sure they don't intersect. Last step was to slap the flat pattern onto a SOLIDWORKS drawing, make sure that the scale is one to one and just save it as a PDF. I'll be providing the a PDF in the link in the description. And if you do decide to make this, please share it on social media and tag me at SolidWorksNerd, either on Twitter or Instagram. I know that there are much more talented craftsmen than myself, and I would like to see what an actual good version would look like. So after all of that was done, I went into the shop and, well, made this thing. And spoiler alert, this is my first time working on a sheet metal project at all. So if you're watching this video to learn how to work with sheet metal, I urge you to look somewhere else. I just kind of flew by the seat of my pants and just kind of kept working at it until it turned into this. But at any rate, let's check what I did to get it done. Okay, so after printing out the template, I went into the shop and began work. Right now I'm cleaning the sheet metal because I plan on adhering the template using spray adhesive. So if there's any oil, we need to get that off. Applying the spray adhesive, nothing to it. Just make sure it's well shaken and we'll line up the template here. I'm lining it up so that the tailgate lines up with one of the edges, which will save me a cut. Okay, so what I'm doing here at this point is I am drilling the holes to act as the relief cuts. And I'd figure it'd be easier to do it now rather than later since nothing's cut out because otherwise things would be too floppy to drill through and I think it worked out pretty well in this case. I also realized when editing this that I forgot to put on my safety glasses. I got them out and just neglected to put them on. So when you're doing stuff like this, put on your safety glasses. To make this initial cut, I got a jigsaw and just kind of followed the line as best as I could. This is my first time doing a project like this at all. I don't have the most idealized tools and thus I had to use what I had on hand. And this is what worked out for me. 
What follows next was actually a pretty long segment of me using the jeweler saw and tin snips to cut out the template to the best of my ability. I kind of started with these rough cuts on all the sides to, to get as close to the perimeter as possible. I then started working getting closer to the actual corners and then finally I made those deep cuts that actually separate the part of the roof from the side. The material I'm working with is a 26 gauge zinc plated sheet steel. I chose this because it was cheap, readily available, thin enough for me to bend by hand, easy enough to learn sheet metal with, and I think it closely matches the actual Cybertruck. Definitely this would have been a lot easier with a laser cutter, but I don't have access to one of those and this is a one time project so it didn't make sense to go buy one just for this. Also I had a good time doing it by hand. I learned a lot about processing sheet metal and how to use my new jeweler saw. Which by the way, I broke probably a dozen blades learning to use it. It was a valuable experience and I definitely have some improvements to make in my process for next time. After I had the template all cut out, it was time to bend and obviously I don't have a bending fixture or anything fancy like that. So I was just looking around on my workspace to see if we have anything rigid that I could clamp to the table, basically pinning the workpiece in between the table and in this case, a yardstick. Eventually I found a plate of aluminum and that helped me out. But it was kind of step by step figuring out in what ways I could clamp it in order to get an effective bend. I had to also get the pliers out to straighten a couple things out, but of course it's just a decorative piece, so the tolerances are super loose, and you know, for the last two bends I had I had to do it by hand because I don't have a fixture. I guess it could have reshuffled around the order of bends to uh, have access to them, but it worked out, and I'm, I'm happy with it. So those are all the bends completed. The step after that was just to remove the template that I had glued on from earlier. So the spray adhesive that I was using, luckily the adhesive that I was using isn't that strong and just with a little bit of picking at it, it came off pretty readily. So there is the Cybertruck completed. Well, it could use one more step. I could file the edges just a little bit to make it less sharp and dangerous, but I'll do that at a later time. So I hope that you enjoyed this video, and if you did, please consider giving it a like and maybe subscribing. I plan on doing more content like this where I just do little projects, so if that's something that you enjoy, feel free to subscribe. Or if you want CAD tutorials or a more in-depth look on how I model the Cybertruck, also subscribe for that. But with that, I thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.